What's up team? Okay, so today we're gonna be going on a little adventure. Um, right now, right back here, uh, this is my girlfriend's apartment. I've been staying here for the last couple months because we're actually moving into uh, a house uh, close to the, the airport actually. Um, which is awesome because I can actually have a Nicopedia lab finally. The whole garage is gonna be a permanent Nicopedia lab. It's gonna be so great. Um, but what's really cool about the area that we are right now, uh, they call this uh, La Brea and really close to La Brea is the La Brea Tar Pits. Um, super cool, super interesting spot. So we're gonna head out there and I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff, but you have to watch the end of this video because I have a really cool science surprise for you um, at the end of this video. It's, it's a discovery that I found right here um, at the actual apartment building. Um, super cool, super interesting, actually kind of, Kind of a, a little bit of an unsettling, actually. Shocking, really. Uh, so let's get this adventure going and let's go check out the La Brea Tar Pits. All right, so I just got into the park and what's so cool is that immediately upon getting into the park, you can smell the tar. I mean, it is like very uh, aromatic. Like it is just whiffs and wafts of, of this really, really like tarry smell. There's this like cage thing, right? Like just in the parking lot. And if you come over here, you can smell it. I mean, we're talking, this is like, it reeks, reeks of oil and tar. Look at that. Look. Oh, and it just, oh, you see that? You see that? How it just bubbled like that? So there's methane underneath the ground, way down in there. Uh, when oil forms, there's a little pocket usually of gas right above it, and so it bubbles out of there and does that little, little, little thing like you guys see in the cartoons. The La Brea Tarpets are probably the most famous for trapping creatures. When they step on it, they get stuck in there. Then as they unfortunately do not get out, they get trapped. Uh, when they die, their bones then seep into this asphalt. Now the asphalt, because it's petroleum based, um, actually sucks up some of that petroleum and the lighter uh, materials of petroleum evaporate out and then the bone is almost encased in this like really hard dark brown uh, petroleum product which preserves the bones. And so tons of fossils have been found in the La Brea tar pits. There's actually been one person, one person has been found in the, uh, the pits uh, it was a woman and she's dated to be about 9,000 years old and th from the research it looks like that she she did not uh, get trapped in the tar pits but that she had already passed on and that in sort of a, a burial a ritual she was put in the pits along with perhaps her uh, her pet which looked like a small dog type creature. The pits continue to find new fossils and in fact a giant mammoth was just found uh, while digging uh, underneath this area for the new subway that they're putting in right now. And I'm about to show you all the different pits. There's 101 different pits and they keep finding new things in each one of these pits. So I'm gonna show you uh, a couple of the areas where they're still currently digging up fossils uh, and finding new things every day. So in this one, this big pit right here, they found a woolly mammoth a big giant Colombian woolly mammoth down in there and all that seepy asphalt way down in there they found a bunch of uh, the bones of a big giant mammoth and so that's kind of that's what this sign says right here and it's look at that this is like what it, this is what it is so I uh, have some of this uh, asphalt on me right here and so one of the really interesting things is that the La Brea tar pits uh, the name itself is really interesting because La Brea translates as the tar. So really, what you're saying when you're saying the La Brea tar pits is the the tar tar pits. <laughs> um, another really interesting thing is it's not tar, it's actually asphalt. So asphalt comes from uh, crude oil and that's actually what this is. Um, this is a petroleum based product Tar actually comes from coal. This right here, this asphalt, is a, is a derivative of crude oil, uh, not coal. And so this is actually, this really should be called the, should be called La Brea Asphalt Pits. Doesn't have the same ring. Now here is such a treat. This isn't always open. Uh, it's not open all the time, but you can literally see these guys down here working. Science in progress. Wow, look at that. You can actually see some of the fossils. Legit, 
Look at this, right there. Some of the bones, fossils, right there. All right guys, well that was the, 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 the tar tar pits, La Brea tar pits. Now keep in mind, um, there's all these tar pits, you know, there's all these little cones all over the place, but there's just these oil seeps, these asphalt seeps all over this park. Now you gotta wonder, you're, you gotta wonder and think to yourself, you know, maybe there's some that are outside of the park itself. You know, why are they all right in here? Maybe they're elsewhere in Los Angeles. So let's go ahead back to my apartment. I'm gonna show you something that's actually really scary, really terrifying that I found in the basement of my apartment. Our apartment is on top of a tar pit. Holy sh! Wow, we're talking we're some really serious tar here, guys. Wow. <laughs> so. Ooh. Oh my god! I can't believe we're living on top of that. <laughs> that is crazy. And if we look down in there, we can see like there's a lot of it, which makes me think. There's probably a lot of fossils, maybe not down in this pit, but maybe underneath the structure. So what this is probably doing is probably just holding all the tar so it doesn't make the foundation un uneven. There's a lot of concrete down here. Okay team, there we go. We explored the La Brea tar pits. We had a little adventure today, a science adventure. We learned all about uh, the La Brea tar pits, that they're actually asphalt, what types of animals um, ended up there, and um, what they're doing now, what type of scientific research that they're actually ongoing doing right now. We also learned that they actually live on top of a tar pit. Um, hopefully the methane sensors don't go off and the basement doesn't fill up with methane gas. That'd be really bad. Uh, if you guys like this video, go and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you super surprised, one, that I live on top of a tar pit, but two, um, all the cool, interesting facts about the tar pits that it's not actually tar at all, that it's actually asphalt. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.